Hey guys, what's up? This is Helen Ocean 5 with another Marble Select review. This time with the Marble Select Ultron. I got this figure way back in like January. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to review it. I've been busy reviewing other things. And of course, the Marble Select Venom was a must to review. Because, you know, he's awesome. But so is this figure. This figure is amazing. And, um, so, um, that's why I'm reviewing him right now. Um, so, uh, without any further distractions, here is the Marvel Select Ultra. Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't show you the box. It's a standard Marvel Select box with some Ultron artwork at the side. It's really cool. Um, it has a really cool bio on Ultron and stuff. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show you that, but it's kind of, the box is kind of stored away right now. So, I can't show you that, but... I can't show you this awesome figure! Sorry about the poor lighting. For, it's kind of cloudy outside. It's still... It's only like 5 o'clock right now. It's still light out because daylight savings right now. But yeah. It's kind of cloudy. That's that's why the lighting's kind of poor. But this figure is awesome. I this is aw this is the, this is the best Ultron figure out there so far. Um, I'm not sure if the um, Iron Man Legends one will outdo it, but I don't think it will. I've seen some production photos of it. It does look really cool, but I don't. I still think this one is gonna be the best. This figure is just the paint apps and the sculpt. The articulation is amazing. Everything on this figure is amazing. Um, first off, let me show you the paint. Uh, it's just the uh, chrome paint. Nothing too crazy. They added in a little black wash though, which is really cool. I really like that they added that. You know, you can kind of see it on his chest and on his back a little bit. But yeah, the rest of it's pretty much chrome, which is classic Ultron. This is like totally really good for classic Ultron. This is like perfect. Um, the head sculpt's amazing. That is Ultron right there. That is awesome. They didn't add in some like yellow dots to look like he was about to fire the laser out of his mouth, but still. Solid orange, is, red orange is pretty cool. I, I think it's still really awesome. He has the ears and everything. And, uh, with the paint also, they added the black, um, little black lines on him, which is really comic accurate. Um, but yeah, the head sculpt's amazing. They added little spikes on his sides. He's all armored. He has the armor and the chest plate and everything. He, uh, this is the very humanoid Ultra Ultron look. So, um, yeah, this, this really captures the comic book humanoid-like appearance pretty spot on, in my opinion. He has a fisted hand on this side, and this hand's kind of like, you know, uh, maybe he's like gathering up a energy blast from his hand, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is just really awesome. It has these uh, rockets at the bottom of his feet, and the whole pegs are hidden right in there. It's hidden really well, which is awesome. I like the sculpting a lot on there. So yeah, this really really awesome. Uh, my brother did a um, Iron Patriot review that had all that um, you know that uh, it skipped scenes and did all that stuff. I don't have the patience. My brother has patience for that computer, and. I don't really have patience. I warn him that it's going to freeze. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it freezes on him and destroys the entire video. So I'm still doing this for now until our computer is like faster and then I will be doing the normal reviews as well. But, um, you know, it's... And also our really good camera kind of 
mess is is messed up for some reason. It's not reading memory cards. I don't know why. But um, this is the best quality camera we have next to that. So I'm filming this. This figure's super awesome. I love this figure a lot. Um, the articulation is awesome. Maybe the best Marvel Select articulation any Marvel Select has ever had. The head can go up way far, and it can go down. It can go down really far too. Side to side, it rotates 360. Um, the arms can rotate 360 degrees, kind of, because, but because shoulder pads you can't really do a full. Actually, you might be able to just kind of, kind of, yeah, mess with it a little bit. Um, he he has a rotation in the bicep, bend in the elbow, and a rotation in the elbow. It's cool that they gave bicep swivel and arm swivel in the bend in the elbow. He has wrist rotation. Um, so you can, he can shoot his repulsor or whatever at you. Um, he, his di this diaphragm joint is awesome. It can move back really far and forward really far. You can go rock side to side. You can fully rotate. And he has a waist swivel. Both. That is, that is awesome. That is fantastic. Well, I can go forward and back and in and out on the T-joint, which I love. I love these T-joints. They're awesome. So, he has um, a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which is awesome. The Marvel Select Deadpool had that, but it had his legs could, couldn't even move forward and back, so what's the freaking point? Um, but I was really young when I reviewed that, now I can see all the flaws and stuff. When I did double jointed knees, I just said, he can bend at the knee. <laughs> I didn't know much about anything then. Um, it can, um, he can rotate at the, um, at the, uh, foot. He has a rotation, and his, and he can pip, and his feet can pivot forward and back. And he has an ankle pivot side to side. Love it that they have an ankle pivot. That is awesome. So you can do all the wide-legged poses and everything. Just awesome. I think that this is awesome. Such an awesome figure. You know, with everything. I love this figure. Um. This is one of my favorite figures I own. One of my favorite Marvel Selects. Probably my second favorite. First favorite being this guy. Um, but yeah. This figure is amazing. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Uh, let me do a little size comparison here. Um, on here is a standard three and a quarter inch figure. This is the, uh, dang it, I'll only stand. I'll just prop them up. Uh, this is the G.I. Joe Retaliation Ninja Duel Snake Eyes. I'll, c I'll review that later. It's an amazing figure, but, you know, not to get, uh, not, let's not get sidetracked. A uh, standard Marvel Legend, like the Series 3 Deadpool. He is, he's in perfect scale with Marvel Legends, in my opinion. Perfect. I even have him on a Marvel Legends display right now. It's it's in perfect scale. It's the same size as the um, Legendary Riders Ultron, which is a Marvel Legends Ultron. So there, it's in perfect scale with Marvel Legends. And here he is next to the Marvel Select Venom, which I think that works really well too. He's uh, Venom's a bit taller than him, which I think works. But you know. I think that this Ultron is a must-have for anyone who is an Avengers fan, an Ultron fan, an Ultron fan, a Marvel fan, a Diamond Select fan. It's just an amazing figure, one of the best Marvel Selects that they have ever released, the most articulated Marvel Select that has ever been released. 
and this is just an amazing figure, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it, like I said. Okay, uh, that's my review. Uh, go to... Where is it? Oh, there we go. Go to BKBN.net and celebrate your name in a big way. And buy this figure. Peace out.